It's too soon to tell if the weather had anything to do with the ruptured water main at the ocean front. Sometime after midnight, water started rushing from a 36 inch pipe, and it could be seen from Laskin Road. Ten of your sides, Art Khan has been out there all day and filed this report. A broken water main is usually pretty impressive to look at, and this one was no exception. A broken water main usually causes a lot of problems, and again, this one was no exception. It's underwater and you can't physically see it. City crews aren't the only ones wrestling with this problem. Nearby residents and business owners knew they had a problem first thing this morning. At about 4.30 this morning, I went to the bathroom, couldn't flush. It went the first one. Actually, no, no, it did flush. I opened up the tap to wash my hands, and uh, nothing came out of it. My wife woke me up and said, there's no water. <laughs> and that was the easy thing, and I tried to go back to sleep, but it wasn't going to happen. By mid-morning, the water was restored to most customers, but with restrictions. I heard it's contaminated. I haven't really trusted the water source from the beginning. I just always did uh, bottled water. Bottled or boiled water are the only options available for people who live or work north of 24th Street, east of Birdneck Road, and south of Fort Story. Those restrictions are expected to last at least two days. No one is sure yet how long it will take to fix the problem or even how it started. We don't know yet. Uh, we know the water main broke, but I don't know uh, any of the details or the cause. It's too soon to tell. That's our con reporting for us. Hear why the city is really concerned about this particular area tonight at 6.